Good evening, everybody. Today is Tuesday, July 5th. I just got through watching a New Orleans gardener. And I'm on vacation for <laughs> the rest of the week. But I had to work today because my employee took the day off. And then I was like, that's okay. I'm working from home. And then you're going to work the rest of this week. So let me just give you a few little updates on my garden. And after this, I have to go do a um, recall video. Let's get to it. It's melon season. Look at that. One. And two. Right there. And three watermelons. Um, this Asian melon is almost ready. Asian melon. Got another one right there. Let's see. Uh, I saw another one right here. It's four watermelons so far, everybody. Loofah time. So when I plant my loofahs, I plant them really close to the cattle panel. And they just grab it on their own. Look at this. This one right here. It's going up, 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 up. Bam. There she goes. And they just automatically started grabbing hold of the cattle panel. Even this one. She's off to the side. But she's holding on. They're doing good. So I took a cute. I actually um, picked five cucumbers yesterday. I picked one off of this plant. And... I know I saw another one in here, just probably not able to find it right now. These are the, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. They're still little. Don't know why. They're still green and little, but hey, they're alive. Um, I see a little, this is the orange watermelon right there. One little one um, right there. And then I went and I took those vines and put them up here. I do see a little cucumber growing right there. Got some eggplants. Where are that eggplant? Oh. Bam. Right here, look at that. She's pretty and purple. See her in there. Right there. Put her back down. Don't want her to get mad. And I see another one right here. And look at my cucumbers. Look how they are going up that cattle panel. Um, I have a big one. I'm going to pull it tomorrow. There's one going right here. But I just... I'm all up in the plant, you guys. Here she is. There she is. Look at her. So I know I have um, lots of cucumbers growing up, growing out here. This is still a squash right here. It's not quite ready. You want to wait till this turns brown to pull your squash. And then I got another big one growing on this plant over here. Okay. I have one pomegranate, one pomegranate that's growing, and I pray that it is still there. Uh, yes, it is. Right here, right there. And I have a little something right there, but I don't know if that's going to make it. All of the other pomegranates fell off. So, that is what it is. All those other pomegranates are gone. So let me come over here. I found some honeydews, you guys. Let me show you. And my friend, the lizard, just loves being on the wall. I'm going to walk over here and then he's going to scatter. Bye-bye, Mr. Lizard. So here's a watermelon right here. Or that might be a honeydew. But 
I have two. I don't know if you can see them. Hitting down right there. Okay. And that's where they're going to stay. <laughs> Exciting. I know I'm looking kind of crazy. I got my glasses up there. Okay. Um, let me show you my peppers. I've had to cut some off due to sun scalding. But um, we have one right here with more growing. Sorry, I'm trying to step through everything. Have a nice size. Big one growing right there. I pulled some of these because they were sun scald, but look at these. These are going to make some good pepperoncinis, you guys. Look at these. And you kind of wait till they get really yellowish before you pull them off. Okay. But yeah, we got some good ones. Then we got these. These long, funny looking ones. God, a couple. A couple. So, got a lot of peppers. The tomatoes, I can't even tell you how. I mean, they're all green now, but let me show you. I mean, the tomatoes have just popped up everywhere. And I have lots of aromas. Look at this. I have a aroma plant back here. Aromas, right? And look how fat this, I mean, they're not even nearly ready. And look how fat they are. Doing good. Let me come around here. This is beefsteak variety. All of these. Bye, Mr. Lizard. Bye. Run away. Run away. Okay. So, yeah, more beef steak on the same plant. This variety is a green tomato right here. So I can make um, fried green, fried green tomatoes. Okay. More beef steak over here. As you can see, I really cut the bottom of my tomato plants so that the leaves don't get diseased with water. And then every now and then you get these little things right here and you just pull those right off. Just pull them off. Okay. Um, I've also been cutting off branches that don't have any Sorry, I've been cutting off branches that don't have any flowers on them to give more energy to the plant to produce more fruit. And that has been, I'm um, sorry, working out for me um, a lot better this year. Just keeping those bottom branches trimmed. So when I'm watering with the hose, none of these leaves are getting affected by anything. And I'm showing that that is a good method for me. Some people use that method with the line. I don't like using that. I don't have a lot of time i just use the plain old tomato cages and when they get really tall i put another i grab all the branches put another cage on top the opposite way and kind of ant crawling on me it's been like an ant fest in in our house sorry um and i just let them keep growing until they die off so here let me turn it around three tomatoes i love when they grow in a brunch like this they look good i've had some tomatoes I've had that, um, like the bottom where they're dying off. So I've been cutting those off. And um, looks like I'm going to... Hi, Mr. Bird. Oh, he went away. Oh, break that off and throw it on the other side because it's sticking out. It's in my way. Okay. And I just saw a tomato in this plant. Oh, here it is. So I look at the bottom of the tomatoes and they're looking good. So looks like I'm going to be able to make some spaghetti sauce again this year. Very happy. Look at those baby um, beef steaks right there. They're just, hey, doing it on their own. I don't shake them. I don't do anything. I live in an area where there's actually a local beekeeper that sells his honey. Um, there's somebody else that sells um, that's a beekeeper. Let me show you guys something. We're going to see how that turns out, but that one may be coming off because that doesn't look good. 
So anyway, back to the bees and I get a lot of hummingbirds. So I really don't have to do a lot to get um, food pollinated, which I'm very happy about. But eventually as more buildings and stuff start coming in, I hope a lot of people will continue to garden around here. We have a lot of gardeners around here, um, a lot some farms behind me. And um, I just hope they keep doing it, you know, so that we can all... Uh, excuse me, something, something there, um, so that we can all get food and flowers and germinate and be able to garden. Something else I want to show you, my butternut squash has germinated to each. They're looking good. Um, I'm not watering today. I'm taking a day off from watering, let the soil rest. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to get hotter during the week, and then I'll come back out here. But that is it for... Um, my garden, my niece and nephew have gone back to Arizona. Love them. But Auntie loves having her happy, quiet time, too. So that is it. I'm going to go in the house, get the computer up, do a recall video, and then we'll be done for today. Have a good day, everyone.